Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Uh, today we're going to be going and doing a review over the uh, Eagle Industries Searaz Maritime Vest. Uh, this is the current vest that I use in the Navy. Uh, not the exact same one, but I want one just like it. Usually they range anywhere, it seems like from 350 on up to 600 depending how much you really want to spend. Uh, I got really lucky and hunted and was patient and found this one on eBay. But uh, today we're just going to go over you know, the details of it and a little review, the fit, and how I feel about it. Oh, and I notice you're looking down here. Uh, we'll get to that here in just a little bit later. But uh, first, let's go check out the details so you guys can get a closer look. Alright guys, so here it is. Uh, the Eagle Industries Sea Raz Maritime Plate Carrier Vest. Uh, I currently only have my hard eSappy plates in it. Uh, I don't have any soft armor inserts yet, so I apologize for that. I've been having trouble finding them. So uh, leave a comment down below if you guys know where I can find some soft armor inserts for a reasonable price. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, it has one inch molly webbing, mill spec, of course, because this is issued to the military currently right now. Uh, everybody likes to say, oh, it's a dev groove vest, it's a seal vest. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, they do use it, but uh, the rest of us use it too. Uh, like I said, it's got some mag pouches. Uh, these are also Eagle Industry M4 mag pouches. Uh, the pistol mags you see over here, or Condor, which are actually a lot like it, but that's for a different review for a later time. Uh, it's made out of 1,000. Cordura, which is it's very tough, and it's a quick release system. This cord that you see right here runs through the whole vest down the back, and all you do, if you want to release it, is just pull on this tab right here, and it'll pull that cord, and it'll just fall apart. So, like if you fell overboard, or the medic had to get to you, Corman real quick uh, it's easier to just strip it off of you instead of having to cut through the shoulder straps and everything else uh, got a little bit of my flare right there Navy Ensign alright uh, it comes with uh, side armor plates to put your side armor plates in but they stick out about another two inches and I just didn't want that, it's just one more thing to get hung up on so I'll show you here in a little bit where you can just fit these happy plates in here on the side. So there, flipped over. See the inside? It's mesh, real strong mesh, uh, but it's allow you to breathe. I've, like I said, I've been wearing this now for a couple years, uh, ever since I got to the new unit I'm with now, and. It's a lot better. We used to have to wear the uh, Marine Corps plate carriers, and this breathes a lot better. There's a lot more mobility with this one. Uh, you have a belly band, which goes around your waist. You would put that on first. It has elastic, so it can stretch, fit tight. Uh, a lot of folks don't like wearing the belly band because it says it restricts their breathing or something like that, but they're not a tight fit is what you want when you wear this vest or else all the weight's going to be on your shoulders actually the if you can get it to fit snug it's going to wear a lot better and then after that if you want to put it on you have uh, your velcro out here on the side to attach it which this is really high dollar velcro it's not cheap at all it's pretty hard to pull apart And when you go to put your sappy plates in, I don't know if you can see that, they fit right here. This is the back part of the vest. You just lift that up, you would slide your sappy plates in, and it secures it, keeps it tight, keeps it from wobbling around. There you're done. And then normally you would uh, put your soft armor right inside of here over the top but uh, lately I have not found any uh, soft armor that really that I can afford 
The sappy flakes seem to be cheaper than the soft armor these days. I just velcro that back down. This will be the front front part of the vest. And like I was saying, uh, it fits side plates. You don't have to get the side plate extensions to get them. I just put mine right here in this pouch. It's not as secure, but they're they're there. They're sitting there. They're no more secure than if I had hung them on the outside. So I just take them, pull that out, stick them right here, and they fit just fine. I've never had any problems with them, even with my vest at work. So you want to put this vest on, you would put it on, take your belly band, put your belly band over you, slide your head through, these right here lift up, grab your strap, put it in. Flap it back over. And same on the other side. If you got a friend to help you, it's a nice, it's a nicer fit, but you have to be self-reliant and do it on your own a lot of times if you're in the field. Put that on, cover back up. You're good to go. So there she is. Uh, I've not done configuring this vest for everything I want on it. Right now I have the double mag pouches. Uh, I'm going to try to carry a load of 10 magazines. They fit polymer P mags just fine. The only thing uh, when you get these Eagle mag pouches, they have elastic over here on the side. It's real tight. When they're brand new, it's a bitch. I ain't going to lie to you. And then I have the pistol mag, which they hold Glock pistol mags, in case some of y'all were wondering. Like I said, I'll go into more detail about these uh, in a later video. You got plenty of room. Like I said, I'm probably going to have my pistol mags on each side, my M4s, my uh, admin pouch right here. And then on the back, I'm going to have my uh, blowout kit or my IFAC first aid kit, whichever you call it. Alright, you have a drag handle, drag loop. You can see there's some Velcro right here. Keep it from hanging on things where you're not needing it. Uh, shoulder pads, also Velcro. Alright, remember this wire, or this cord? It runs down through, comes up over your shoulder. I prefer to put mine on, my left, on the left shoulder. Comes right through here. comes down right in through here that you see all these straps just lay on top of one another in here try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a better look all these straps just lay inside of here and there's a little white cord that lays right here that you string this through all of these and then when you're done that cord you just run right through here so when you pull that it'll go through and all this just falls apart and everything comes undone a uh, little helpful hint if you do get one of these when you're threading this through it is a pain to try to get just that little cord to fit through all these grommets so what I did is take your bread tie, just your normal bread tie, and put that on and that's like your starter and it's, since it's got a little piece of metal wire in there you can just pull it on through when you're done. And just lay it back over. Uh, 
Also, this has a snap. Just snap it back on right here. These plates in here, it gets pretty heavy. Uh, I think it weighs with soft armor and everything, you're probably looking at like 40 pounds, 40, 45 pounds around there, depending how much ammo and other gear you got put on, of course. But uh, there she is, there's the up cub slip. Now we'll go back over and uh, I'll put it on, and you can kind of see the wear of it, and uh, of course, when I got my weapon slung on it. All right, so let's go back over there and take care of that. All right, so that's a closer look at the vest. Uh, to give you guys an idea of like size, this is a medium, and I am six feet tall, 205 pounds, and it fits me pretty good. Uh, I still got side coverage right here, a lot of mobility. I can move around pretty good. It's still covering my vitals. My plate's like right here, so it's covering me pretty good. Uh, it's actually, it wears pretty comfortable. Uh, I've gone out and done many patrols wearing this thing, plus my pack, and you really don't notice the difference, of course, until it's the very end of the day and you relieve that extra 45 pounds off your back. But uh, it fits real well. I love it. It's real comfortable. Uh, compared to the old Marine Corps style vest that we used to have to wear, this is a lot better. And also the old Marine Corps vest you had to lift up in the front and it was a pain when you had your mag pouches in the front of it. Whereas these, like I said, you just lift the side and then you're out. You just slip out through the side. Like I said, a lot of mobility, breathes well. I love it. Uh, there's some other ones on the market. You know, Black Hawk makes some good ones, but this is what I work with. This is what I prefer. This is what the military gives me. So. I'm comfortable with it. I know how the vest is. That's why I chose it. That's the reason I went on eBay and tried to find one for myself. Uh, my actual military vest is locked up on base in my deployment locker. But the uh, reason I had this sitting here weapons clear and safe. The only thing that I did miss about the Marine Corps vest is you had a collar. You had your protective collar. Well, if you have a one point sling or a single point sling, this sling is against your neck the whole time. There's nothing you can do to keep it from doing that. Unless you like really lengthen it out and then it's not it's gonna be hanging down by your knees and getting in all kinds of way. So I'm probably gonna be going back to the good old three-point sling, which is what I've always had anyway. I just figured I'd try out the uh, single-point sling, and when you're not wearing the vest, it's actually not too bad, but when you're wearing protective body armor, a single-point sling in this thing is a bitch, unless you don't mind the strap rubbing your neck the whole time, that, or you raise your collar and put it up around your neck the whole time. So, in case you, any of you guys out there have a single point sling was interested in this vest, I just want to give you a heads up on that. Uh, so you don't run into the problem that I do. So you can get a three point sling online nowadays for like 10 bucks. So, I'm going to get it. If it doesn't work, you know, no big deal. So, gone is that. But, there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, please subscribe. Click right over here. Is it, is it gone yet? Still there? Is it gone? Okay. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave comments below. Like I said, if you guys could help me out and help me find some soft armor inserts, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. But uh, once again, thank you for watching the video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. This is CB277. Train like you fight. Fight the wind.